Hi guys, Wandersun here. In this video I will teach you how to create the animation of the left side menu to expand and collapse, we will also remove the standard title bar from our application and add a function so that we can move this window. Please guys before we start the video don't forget to subscribe to the channel and leave your like, this helps to keep producing more videos. Let's start by changing the menu width to 70, and also add an icon for our application that will be next to the title. Go to the source option, choose the icon you want, and then the width of the icon to 22 and height to 22. After that we will start creating the animation for the left side menu. Inside our left menu we will add a new property called Property Animation that will be responsible for the animation to expand and collapse the menu. We will add an identification for this property that will have the name Animation Menu and we will put a target with ID from the left menu. In property we will put the value width which will be the property that we will animate. Into we put the value 250 which will be the final value, that is, the menu will expand from its current width up to 250. Done that we put the duration of our animation which will be in milliseconds and our animation curve. I will use easy in out quint. And let's run the application to see if it's working. See that the animation is still not working, for that we need to add this function to the toggle menu. Add the on clicked function, paste the id animation menu running, equal to true. When running our application we see that animation is working but our menu is not yet retracted, let's fix this now. Let's go again in the left menu in the to attribute. Let's add a function saying that when the menu is 70 wide it will expand to 250 if different it will retract to 70. See that it is now expanding and retract correctly. We can add other values in the width to see how it will work. I will add other animation curves so that you can better understand how this process works. I will now add the value in out bounce and run the application. See that this animation looks like a bouncing ball. I will add this effect only to the end of the animation using the attribute outbounce. The menu animation is ready. Now let's start removing the standard title bar from our window. Start by placing the attribute, flags, and then qt.window. This will say that our window will be of type window. When running we see that nothing still happens, we need to add another attribute that will actually remove our title bar. Add the attribute, qt.framelessWindow hint, and when running the application we see that the bar has been successfully removed. See that by clicking on our personalized title bar we are unable to drag our application. Not even the buttons are working, these buttons I will teach you how to create the functions to minimize, maximize and close the application in the next video.
To close our application just go to Application Output and click Stop. Let's add the function to drag our window. Go to Title Bar and add the Attribute Drag Handler. In on active changed add the expression. If the window is active, when clicking and dragging it will be moved in the direction of the mouse. After that we will add a drop shadow in our application, this shadow will be applied to the BG control. See that an error occurred. We need to import a new class called QML called QT Graphics Effects in version 1.15. We will align this shadow to our BG using anchoring. Horizontal offset with zero value. Vertical offset with zero value. Radius with value 10. Samples with 16. Color with the value shown in the video. And in source, we will also place our BG. So that the shadow always appears below our BG, we can set the Z parameter to zero. And when running our application, we have everything working correctly. In the next video, I will teach you how to create the functions of the minimize, maximize, restore, and close our application. Don't forget to like this video if you liked it a lot. Thanks to all Patreon supporters. See you in the next video.